All right, so if we take a look at this, now what we're seeing is the profile view of an inclined water table. So we've done the same thing. We have two wells measured uh, in the sort of left-hand side and then sort of near the stream. And you can see the water table is there. So what we've done is we've measured from the surface to the top of the water table in both instances. And then we've subtracted that from the sea level elevation of the land surface to get the thickness of the water table from um, sea level. So we have an elevation measurement that's uh, from a constant known number. Now we see that the water table is decreasing in the right direction towards the um, stream and that the head over towards the stream is going to be less than the hydraulic head at the um, more left-hand side. So what we have is a hydraulic gradient then. And that hydraulic gradient, mathematically speaking, is one head subtracted from another head. So it's the slope of the water table. Now, all water table is going to flow down hydraulic gradient. However, it doesn't always mean that it's downhill.